Dr. B. M. D. presents eight things toxic parents say to their children. Home should be a warm, nurturing, and safe place for children that grow up there. And although a baby giraffe is able to run from predators within an hour of birth, human children are born defenseless and require careful care over years to become healthy, both physically but especially emotionally. A good home isn't defined by the physical structure, but instead by the parents. If parents are toxic, they can destroy a child's home life and a child for a lifetime. Even if hurtful words are not intended to cause pain, they can leave emotional scars and memories that last forever. Hurtful words are especially damaging when they come from those closest to us, and that is so often parents. The way parents raise their children and behave around them sets up the foundation which builds their child's personality and self-esteem. So, how do you know if a parent or caretaker is toxic? Here are eight things toxic parents say that can permanently change a child's life. Number one, the you statement. You are ugly. You are fat. You are too short, too tall, too skinny, or you have ugly hair. Degrading a child based on their appearance will only increase the child's physical insecurity and their worry about body image. This can degrade self-esteem, lead to serious emotional issues such as eating disorders like anorexia and bulimia, lead to cutting depression and self-harming behavior. These you statements, although awful when applied to a child's appearance, can also be used for their behavior. For example, you are lazy, you are messy, you are mean, stupid, slow, or not athletic. A child will begin to internalize these words and they will become a part of their self-image. Children become not what they think they are, not what you think they are, but instead change themselves over time into what they think you think they are. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that is difficult to undo. Instead, parents are supposed to teach their children how to love themselves no matter how they look on the outside or what their behavior is on a given day. Number two, the why question. Why do you act so weird? Why do you walk that way? Why do you chew that way, move, or talk that way? Few words are more damaging than the why question. And children have no idea how to answer these questions, but they do learn that they are dreadfully wrong with how they do things because rarely do they walk, chew, or talk on purpose in a certain way. Therefore, the only takeaway for them is that they do those things wrong and that everyone can see it. Making it hard for a child to be themselves around people, creating tremendous insecurity and fear that will persist into adulthood. And they develop an ingrained belief that they have personal flaws, tragically all of which have been artificially created by their toxic parents. Number three, selfish wishes and the I statement. I wish you were never born. I wish I had an abortion. I regret having you. I wish you had been a girl. I didn't want a child. There are many children that come into this world unexpectedly, are a surprise, come at inconvenient times, and for parents can be a challenge in many ways. Parents may also truly have considered termination of a pregnancy. However, a child never needs to know any of this. Suggesting to a child that they weren't supposed to exist and don't deserve to be alive is over-the-top toxic behavior. Number four, making the child feel like a burden. You cost me too much money. It's so hard to take care of you. Having you exhaust me. A common ploy of toxic parents is blaming their own financial or emotional stresses on their child. If a parent says this to their child, the child will feel like a burden. This will cause the child to hide their own needs, feelings, and problems just to avoid the retribution and wrath of the toxic parent. Number five, unhealthy comparisons. Why aren't you like your brother? Why aren't you like your cousin? Why aren't you like the other kids? Your sister is so much better than you. You're not as good as I was when I was your age. This kind of talk will destroy a child's self-esteem, convincing them that they will never be good enough, no matter how hard they try. It will also create remarkable resentment between siblings as well. Each child should be given the opportunity to develop their own independent identities. Number six, verbally abusive words and statements. You are stupid. You are useless. You are a loser. You will never make it. Absolute remarks like this will forever damage a child's self-esteem and the damage will extend far beyond the day it occurs. It's important that parents instead encourage their children to believe in themselves and instead provide words of encouragement. You can do it. Keep trying. Let's work on it together. Or I think you are getting better at this. Number seven, 
threatening abandonment. I am going to leave you. One day you will wake up and I will be gone. I will just disappear. Such statements will make a child believe that the parent will leave them for who they are. A child needs to know that a parent will always be there for them, regardless of how they act, how they do in school, or whether their room is messy. Otherwise, a child will have abandonment issues that will persist through adulthood with difficulty trusting future relationships with friends, family, or co-workers, constantly fearing that people they love will leave them because of who they are. Number eight, using all or nothing language. You always do this. You never do this. Using this kind of generalized, all-inclusive language is especially toxic for children. It makes them feel that they have no choice because they just do wrong things no matter what. As they get older, they can't recognize alternative choices in different social contexts and are unable to change their behavior based on different social situations. To conclude, words are so very important, especially to children, as hurtful words can damage them for a lifetime. The good news is that kind and thoughtful words can also last for a lifetime. Thanks for watching. For more information about psychology, like six problems only really smart people have, click this video and hit subscribe below.